you want to bite into Hollywood's vampire obsession for your party at home. Entertaining expert Sebastian Sintner has some fantastic suggestions. Get it? Fantastic. We're here at Au Noir, famous for their dining in the dark. And if you'd like to join me, we'll learn how the undead would dine. For the table setting, Twilight's book cover is the inspiration. Elements like the candle embers with the red candles, the centerpieces that have the dark apples and the black branches and the jewels are set to give it that gothic glam look with a touch of elegance. And we even have a table setting for Bella. You're beautiful. Now on to the first course, a trio of true blood soup shooters, perfect for the vampire's liquid-only diet. I'll have a gin and tonic, please. And I'll have a bottle of O negative. We have the roasted red pepper shooter to begin with, next, tomato and lemongrass, and then finally, the balsamic-infused beet shooter. For the main course, Sebastian's serving up something Edward would love to nibble on. Of course, werewolf being hard to come by, we've decided to use lamb chops instead. But the idea behind the course is it's served in a martini glass with lamb chops that you can pick up easily. So whether you're eating in the light or in the dark, it's the perfect course. When it comes to the guest book, The Vampire Diaries leads the way. Dear diary, today will be different. Each guest is asked to put in a little secret entry, something that's either a scandal that occurred that no one knows about or maybe even a secret crush. And later, as the hostess flips through the pages, she can try and match up each entry to which guest made that entry. And of course, no evening would be perfect without a perfect cocktail. Cranberry juice, vodka, a splash of lychee liqueur, and of course, lychees on a skewer for garnish. Cheers and thank you for joining us for the Dinner of the Undead.